Well, here's where I'm at. Like I had left off in the last video, I was just going to take the sheet metal off, get it painted, freshened up a little bit, kind of do a repaint, and then one thing led to another. Um, as I'd mentioned before, the the sheet metal is just really pitted. I did get the fender pan primed, but I don't know if you can see it in there, but uh, there you go. There's a lot of pits in this pan. So I'm gonna try to take some glazing putty, kind of like Bondo filler, and try to get some of those filled in till they look a little better. Um, uh, it's just, I'll, I'll try to save the fender pan at least. The hood, like I'd mentioned before in previous videos, is shot. Um, I took all the sheet metal off the engine because I just wanted to freshen it up a little bit and then one thing led to another there. Um, I noticed the head gaskets were leaking, so I ordered new head gaskets, and uh, I got the front one off. All the head bolts were somewhat loose already, so I got the front head off, um, got it cleaned so far. I don't have the actual head cleaned up. I got the block cleaned, but as you can see, the, the bolts were just not tight. I got blow by and oil everywhere. I'm hoping the rings aren't real bad because it it didn't seem like it was smoking, but I guess we'll find out when I put it back together. Another thing that I caught, you know, it's like a domino effect. This is what uh, intake gasket, it's not even, one side is not even in the intake. So I'm gonna loosen it up, try to slide it under, get it put back on. Um, the fuel pump is mounted on the carburetor, does have look like, looks like it has a new carburetor, so that's nice. Um, I don't know what happened here. I think they changed the solenoid and couldn't get to the screws, so they cut a hole. Um, but yeah, and then that's broken down there. So we just turn the steering wheel, everything moves, so that needs to be tacked. But yeah, one thing led to another and just it just domino effect. So also the front wheel bearings are out of it. So I'm gonna have to repair those. Um, the head gaskets, I didn't know this because I've never worked on a Briggs, are different from the front uh, block, uh, head and to the back head. So the new head gaskets are here. So as you can see, um, this will be the front, this will be the rear. But there is a, this part right here is different than this one why but um, that's the only difference in them so this is the front head gasket here which is this one so I'll put it on I need to find the specs on getting all that tightened down and uh, whatnot I did paint the screen it looks pretty good one of the tabs is broken off of it from rust there so i do have to this is just primer dark gray so i'm gonna paint, paint it black um, i do have all the sheet metal tins for the engine over here i'm gonna kind of wire weld the wire wheel those get those kind of maybe just kind of sand them up with like 220 or something like that rough them up a little bit primer them black and then paint them black but but anyway, just giving you a quick update on this. It's not very long of a video. Um, but yeah, one thing led to another. It's uh, got a ways to go now. Uh, I got to figure out what the bearings are for the front. Uh, get the heads. I'm not going to bore everybody. Everybody's seen head gaskets change before. That ain't no big deal. I uh, might pick you back up. I don't know if this will be the end of this video or what. Uh, I went to get some glazing putty what i call glazing putty bondo kind of it's it's not really a bond it's bondo but it's not because it's not really doing a lot of the big hole covering on metal it's just the small holes which is what i'll use I haven't done it in a long time so we'll see uh how well i do on that i went to buy that and it was like 30 dollars for a small one i was like no nope, i'm not spending that so i'm gonna hit up old amazon and see if i can uh get a small can there and then uh, I'm going to get these heads gaskets changed out, put all that back on, put the intake, try to attempt to put the intake gasket in. 
I may just you know, order new ones for that too. I'm, I'm, I'm this far into it, so why not? You know what I mean? So, um, but anyway, yeah, um, she went a little further than I thought she would, but that's all right. Um, just a little quick update and, uh, I'll pick you back up on another video when I get closer to Bondo or, um, get the other hood in here. The tractor I thought I was going to get for the sheet metal turned out to be a 520. So that obviously is not going to work. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll figure something else out on that. But, um, but yeah, that's where I'm at so far. Um, uh, I do, do need to get it out and, uh, power wash it because underneath the, the rear fender is just nasty down in there. It's horrible. So, so yeah, we'll, uh, pick you back up when I get, uh, a few more things done on it. Thanks for watching.